Fox in Houston. The Rockets are saying they know they're going into what they expect to be the toughest game of the year for them. How do you view being in, in an elimination game in this situation whether you have the chance you could get eliminated? Uh, I mean, we're, uh, I think we're in good spirits considering the situation, uh, how these last two games have gone, <clears throat> you know, down to the wire. And uh, they made a couple more plays to get the job done, so credit to them. But uh, that's why you play seven games. That's why uh, uh, it's such a back and forth type of environment in the playoffs. And, and we have we have an opportunity to reestablish ourselves um, at home, get a big win, keep ourselves alive, and and then roll the dice in a game seven. So um, not all is lost, um, and we we play well tonight, just not well enough. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Steph, what do you think of uh, Chris Paul's little shimmy? Uh, it was well deserved. It's a tough shot. If you can shimmy on somebody else, you got to be all right getting shimmied on. So I'll keep shimmying, and maybe he will too. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Steph, Christy Rican from the Associated Press. Um, with these two teams and the way y'all have such powerful offenses, what do you think about the defense of both teams in these, especially in these past two games? Uh, I think it's been a high level. Um, Nothing's easy out there on either side. And I think if you kind of guess what the final score would be between the Rockets and, and the Warriors, uh, neither team getting to 102 straight games. I probably don't know what the odds are on, on that. Talking. So uh, defense is high right now. We got to continue that, that effort, uh, just make a couple more plays to turn, uh, take care of our turnover problem we've had the last two, two games. And, um, just build some momentum back to our side, and uh, we have an, uh, an opportunity to do that. Uh, Kirk Bolson, the Austin American. Can you describe the last play, how it was supposed to unfold when you passed the dream on? Uh, six seconds left. We had to, to go you know, the length of the court, and Coach drew up a play to get me on like a little wheel route to get, the, get some momentum down court. And when I caught it, I saw um, Capella and James uh, right in front of me. So made a read that we could, you know, advance the ball down with a pass and maybe get a little hand back or something that I could get a look. And uh, just we didn't execute it. And, you know, that's how, how the game goes. So in you, you those situations, things are happening fast. You, you try to make a read that you think is right in that situation. Um, and hopefully you can get a shot up. But uh, it just didn't happen. Uh, Steph, uh, to your left, uh, why has it been such a struggle for you guys to be or to resemble who you've been all season, what have they done to take you out of your game, to make you kind of look out of sorts, especially late in games? We've talked about it a lot. Like, a lot's been said about what's wrong with us, but, you know, they're, they're, they're a 65 win team for a reason. They, you know, have formulated a roster that can switch and can uh, try to push you out, you know, outside the perimeter when you're initiating your offense or whatnot. But tonight, we got great shots consistently throughout the game. Um, when you have 16 turnovers, most of those in transition when you can start to feel the, the tide turn a little bit and then you know you, they're taking the ball out of bounds and coming back the other way. Those are the type of moments that we missed on, the, on tonight. Um, but they're, they're a solid defensive team and uh, just got to continue to be aggressive, assertive, and decisive in everything that we do. Um, and tonight, I think we did that. Anthony Slater with the Athletic. They had 17 more three-point attempts than you. D'Antoni postgame kind of pointed that out as a, a difference. They didn't shoot it as good as you, but are you okay with them getting that many more threes up than you guys? Uh, <clears throat> it's kind of how they play. I think for the most part of the night, I can probably count five or six in my head where they were you know, wide open. The rest of them were tough looks. CP hit a bunch of tough ones in the third quarter. Uh, obviously, James didn't make any, but got up 11 tough threes. Uh, Eric Gordon hit some timely threes. Obviously, the last one in the fourth quarter. Um, one thing, one earlier in the fourth quarter when we were starting to build a little bit of a lead. So uh, it's just the, the way that they get them up. We got to continue to make them work. And for the most part, we did it tonight. And if we're going to climb our way back into the series, that's going to have to happen in game six for sure. Steph, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Not only did CP hit you with the shimmy, 
he hits you with all of those shots at the end of the shot clock under pressure. How difficult was that to do? How difficult is it to be on the other end of that? And how can the Rockets win this series if he can't go in games six and seven? There's a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, all right, let me see if I can roll it down. Uh, he hit some tough ones that you got to live with, to be honest. I mean, uh, a lot of dribbles in ISO, and he kind of found a way to contort his body and get a, uh, a shot off, and three of them went down. And... At the end of the day, obviously, good offense beats good good defense any day of the week. But you made him work, and then that's what you you got to do. Um, obviously, you know I don't speak on an injury until you know what's, what the situation is. So um, kind of leave that there. But they're 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 a talented team, and and everybody who touched the ball is a threat. And so you got to just be on, on on alert at all times and. And uh, the way he played in the third quarter and hit those tough shots to keep him close uh, was a difference in the game. Steph, Ron Krejcik from the San Francisco Chronicle. Can you describe that next to last possession when you took sign of the running bank shot that you looked surprised that it didn't go in? Obviously, we've seen you make that shot. It looked like a very difficult one. It was contested. Just how did that unfold and, and what was your thinking as it happened? Yeah, with 22 seconds left, we want to go quick, just in case, obviously, we miss that we could still have another life um, with a, it was a foul and get another possession. It's still a one-possession game, so I tried to, to make a read, get to my right hand. Um, when I let it go, it felt good, just a little strong off the glass. Uh, thought maybe I could try to initiate a little bit of contact, but uh, P.J. Tucker came flying over and tried to get a good contest. and. I didn't even get to see it kind of land on the rim because everybody's toppling all over me on the, on the baseline. But uh, aggressive shot that I would love to make, but didn't happen. And um, if I get another opportunity, I'm going I'm to keep shooting. Last one, Chris. Steph, Chris Haynes, ESPN. Steph, Coach Kerr um, moments ago said he, he feels great about where the team is right now. And You don't believe him. Well, it's, it's – from the outside looking in, it don't look too great. So can, can you explain, like, is that the – like, how how can you have that type of feeling being down 3-2? Because I think the way we've played the last two games, we played good enough to win and just haven't got the job done. So going home game six, the way we play tonight, if we can repeat that, take care of the turnovers, just stay, you know, mentally locked in on the details for 48 minutes, we we, we, we know we can get a win. Um, and we're just with the talent that we have on this team and uh, the resiliency and, and, and whatnot. Um, you know, we can we can get this we can get the job done. And I think uh, I think we're excited about that opportunity going home to uh, get ourselves back in the series, stay alive. Obviously, like I said, and and uh, and then worry about a game seven. So. You know, we haven't we haven't been in this position before. You know, this team, teams of old. So it's a chapter we need to uh, to figure out and, and finish the story.